We take the perfect condition of our Earth for granted sometimes. We may have never been able to journey to the centre of the Earth, but these days we know that below us there are three layers, the mantle, the outer core and the inner core. But what would the world be like if it were just crust? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer some weird, wonderful and at times fanciful questions. I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we're asking what if the Earth was hollow? Before we launch into this video, I just want to let you guys know that we have started a Patreon. So if you want to be part of helping to create some big answers on this channel, I will leave the link in the description box down below. By using seismological and magnetic field data, we have been able to gain an understanding of what is inside planet Earth. We live on the crust, a thin outer layer that occupies just 1% of the Earth's volume and just 0.5% of its mass. If the Earth were hollow, we would lose 99.5% of our mass, which would have an effect on gravity. The Moon has one percent 2% of Earth's mass as it is. So without a core, our relationship to the Moon would change, with us drawn to it rather than vice versa. Our loss of Earth mass would also undoubtedly have an effect on our experience with gravity. We would no longer be sucked down to the ground at the same rate as the equation would have changed. Again, with our change in mass, our orbit in relation to the Sun would change too. If the Earth were hollow, our plate tectonics and volcanoes would behave very differently. In fact, we would have no volcanoes. Volcanoes are formed when magma from the Earth's mantle pushes its way to the surface. Without a liquid outer core and a mantle, this wouldn't happen. So, had the Earth always been hollow, there would be no volcanic islands like Hawaii. If the Earth was hollow, could we pop it like a big crusty balloon? Well, I don't know, but I for one would be more concerned about asteroids. That being said, nothing has ever smashed through our mantle before. The Earth would still be between 30 to 50 kilometers thick, although we would have less mass to absorb the shock. At the moment we have not been able to drill to the mantle, as the further down you go towards the Earth's core, the hotter and denser things get, breaking and melting our tools. The farthest we have ever dug is around 12,000 meters down, so roughly a third of the way to our crust. However, without the heat and pressure of our core, perhaps we would be able to poke a hole into the Earth, although I'm not actually sure you would want to fall in it. Ignoring many issues a hollow Earth would present for a moment, if we were able to drill a hole each side of the Earth, YouTube a V source calculates it would take 37 minutes to fall through it and reach the other side. But of course, that is an extreme simplification of a process that would undoubtedly kill you. If the Earth was hollow, what exactly would be in the middle of it? Oxygen? Another gas? Right now, there is nowhere near enough oxygen on Earth to fill up the entire middle of the planet. I suppose we ought not worry about a hollow Earth anyway, seeing as if it happened, we would probably all frazzle to a crisp on its surface anyway. One of the main contributing factors of our Earth's existing core is that it controls the Earth's magnetic fields. The liquid core has electric currents running through the conductive liquid metal, which creates our magnetic field. This magnetic field protects the planet from solar winds. Without them, the Earth would get hot and uninhabitable, like the planet Venus, which does not have an internally generated magnetic field. Although that being said, our burning to a crisp would be quite pretty. Without magnetic fields, there'd be lots of auroras in the sky, like the northern lights, but everywhere. Ah. It's hard to say precisely what would happen if the Earth were hollow, but the answer pretty much involves life on Earth as we know it never having evolved the way it did. This is because, of course, there really is no way to drain the Earth of its innards now, and if we did, the Earth would probably crumple up into itself. It's best to just focus on the happy life that we have been awarded on our hearty, filled rock. And now, more than ever, we are at the brink of discovering even more about our insides than ever. Who knows what big questions will come from those big discoveries. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. Do you have anything to add to this answer? What would you like us to talk about next? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, do make sure that you've clicked on that notification bell for regular updates from our channel. I'm Rebecca Felgate. I've left our Patreon link in the description box down below. I'll see you guys in the next video, but for now, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning. If you guys have watched right through to the end, hurrah, you get a gold star and two awesome videos for you to keep on watching for more big answers.